there. There's two cord of dry wood on the trailer. Kevin's working on his sweat stain for his log cabin firewood hat. He's wearing it backwards today though. He's feeling a little sporty. Oh, his it went in the front. Oh, he says it's wet in the front too. But two quarter dry wood. And if you remember when we brought the trailer in, I told you when you buy round wood, it's magic. So this trailer was full, the same as it is right now. But over here on the ground is what's left of that dry wood that won't fit in that trailer. And that's just because of the airspace that you get when you split. So if you can buy round wood, it's a good thing to do. And that's why it works out when you put it into the log truck as well. Um, So just like that, we got two more dropped off. Let's go back to the yard and move some equipment around. All right, our destination is down there. But we gotta haul this great big train down there. So Kevin's gonna video and he'll do commentary or whatever he wants to do. But we gotta get this moved, so let's see how this goes. All right, Kevin and I are both a little warm, but we've got everything moved. Let me spin you around, show you what we got for a setup coming for tomorrow morning. So we got all the wood that was here cleaned up and moved over here for right now. Down at the far end, we've got the conveyor stuck right in the middle of the two loads of logs. We're gonna be taking from this side over here. Uh, we're gonna do two cords of ash out of there tomorrow morning and then probably a two cord load of mixed wood. Um, and that's gonna come from this side over here, but everything's all ready to roll for the morning. So should be a pretty quick start up tomorrow. So all in all, day number two is success. No flat tires. <laughs> we got four cord delivered and we're all set up and ready to roll for the morning. So if you guys like this stuff, give a like, thumbs up, <laughs> comment, subscribe. Remember a little bit every day goes a long way and help somebody out if you can. We'll see you on the next one.